Hello folks, welcome back to our team Auto Trend channel. Today we have over here a very special car in the Indian market. In the Indian market, uh, there are only a few hybrid cars, namely the Urban Cruiser High Rider, which is with us over here. And then we have the Maruti Suzuki Grand Vitara. And then moving further up, you have the Toyota Innova High Cross, Maruti Suzuki Invicto, Toyota Camry and the Wellfire. And yeah, for the other hybrid cars are all expensive. But which is the most affordable hybrid car in the Indian market currently? Yes, it is the Toyota Urban Cruiser High Rider, especially the S Hybrid variant. It is only the Urban Cruiser High Rider that provides the hybrid powertrain option on the second level S variant, whereas the Grand Vitara provides hybrid powertrain options only on the top level Zeta and Alpha variants. So today we have over here the updated S Hybrid variant of the Toyota Urban Cruiser High Rider, which retails at Rs 16.66 lakh ex showroom and is currently the most affordable hybrid petrol car available in the Indian market. Today. So with respect to the exterior details and all, we have already covered the S variant in detail uh, which was the non-hybrid version on our channel but this is the hybrid version so we are going to discuss regarding the hybrid specific changes and the new updates on this S hybrid Urban Cruiser High Rider. First of all, coming to the front fascia, you have the same looks. This car looks exactly almost the same as the non-hybrid version except for the fact that you get this carbon fiber like finish on the front uh, grille fascia over here. This is not a grill, it is uh, just a plain panel but yeah, on the hybrid versions you get to see this carbon fiber like finish over here and then you have these uh, chrome uh, bands or chrome strips connecting the headlamps with the Toyota logo at the center over here. Then as usual you have the headlamps located low down on the bumper, however only if you opt for the G and V variants you get LED headlamps while the lower spec E and S variants get only these uh, halogen projector headlamps but still they are good enough I guess. Regarding the power specifications and engine specs, the hybrid versions of the Urban Cruiser High Rider have got a 1.5 litre 3 cylinder non turbocharged petrol engine mated to an electric motor and battery pack while the petrol engine alone produces just 93 PS of maximum power and 122 Newton meters of maximum torque and the electric motor alone produces 80 PS of maximum power and 141 Newton meters of maximum torque. That said, the combined power output of this petrol engine and the electric motor is around 115 PS which is at par for course, especially in this mid-size SUV category. That said, the biggest highlight of this hybrid powertrain is its mileage. This mid-size SUV with a 1.5 litre petrol engine and the hybrid powertrain can return you up to 24 km per litre. That's what Toyota claims. That is simply awesome. Okay, then uh, coming to other details and uh, exterior highlights over here, this car looks exactly the same as the non-hybrid S variant except for the hybrid branding over here. Yeah, you can see the hybrid branding on the front doors and as I already said, you have the carbon fiber finish on the front fascia only for the hybrid versions. Uh, all variants of the High Rider get you 17 inch steel wheels with wheel covers, with full wheel covers along with all wheel disc brakes. So that is also a nice highlight to have and you also have body colored door handles, body colored ORVMs, LED turn indicators and other stuff also including a shark fin antenna on the roof. That said if you want a panoramic sunroof, the panoramic sunroof is available only on the G and V variants so that is a thing to be noted. Then coming on towards the rear you have these very stylish looking LED tail lamps available across all variants whereas the actual turn indicators and the reverse lamps are located lower down on the bumper. This is the S variant, so you get the S branding over here, similar to the Neo Drive versions. That said, if you opt for this hybrid version, you have the hybrid branding over here, located just below the variant branding. Another thing to be noted is that you have the rear windshield defogger available as standard across all variants. However, you don't get the rear windshield wiper on the lower spec E and S variants, so that is still okay. Uh, then another thing to be noted is that you have the reverse parking camera located over here. So those are all the exterior highlights uh, and this is the overall size of the car. This car competes with the Hyundai Creta and Kia Seltos. So the overall size is comparable to those cars at around 4.3 meters in length. Alright then, let's now check out the cabin. It has to be mentioned that only the hybrid versions of the Toyota Urban Cruiser High Rider get this brown and black combination for the interior. However, the overall interior design, the overall layout and even the features remain exactly the same as seen on the Grand Vitara. Uh, the non-hybrid Neo Drive versions of this high rider get a plum and black interior color theme with a wine red sort of tinge and yeah, I personally feel that instead of this brown, they should have given the plum color combination. But still do let me know what do you think. The same brown color and black color combination have been carried forward to the fabric seats over here. Uh, yeah, it is good. 
the good thing is that all variants get driver seat height adjustment as standard so that is a welcome thing apart from that let's just get inside the cabin and uh, yeah if you see the doors over here the door panels are exactly the same as before no changes whatsoever all variants get you all four power windows along with electronically adjustable orvms uh, from the s variant onwards you have the auto folding electronic folding option as well for the mirrors and you have the one touch down and up feature for the driver window alone this feature is also available as standard along with that you have a whole lot of standard features yeah you also have smart key access with push button start the hybrid versions get this blue button instead of black so that is a thing to be noted this is also a standard feature across all variants along with steering mounted audio controls yes even the lower spec E variant gets you steering mounted audio controls even though that car does not have an audio system this s variant you have the smart play pro touchscreen system the 7 inch touchscreen system it is a bit small but still it is okay it is useful and on this s hybrid variant you also have a reverse parking camera the clarity is just about okay yeah it is useful still it is all right then you also have automatic climate control ac available as standard across all variants so that is also a good thing what this s variant provides you in addition to the e variant is cruise control yeah on the second variant itself you have cruise control and this is essentially the base level most affordable hybrid car in the indian market today and this car also has cruise control so yeah pretty much you have got everything covered yeah this is a good choice then you have steering tilt adjustment along with telescopic adjustment also available as standard across all variants so that is also a good thing now this is the instrument cluster of the s hybrid version so you get a full color digital instrument cluster with the controls located on the left side of the steering wheel over here you have a lot of information you have controls setting options also trip meters average efficiency and all that stuff yeah this is good enough i guess then yeah in this touchscreen system you have android auto and apple carplay as well but you don't have 360 degree camera or the say hybrid graphics and all you don't have in this still it is all right then coming lower down this is the actual ecvt automatic gearbox exclusively available only on the hybrid versions of this high rider you have parking reverse neutral drive yeah apart from that you also have b mode which is essentially the one pedal driving or regenerative braking mode yeah that is also available so this is going to be really convenient for city drives as well apart from that you have the esp traction control turning off button over here and you have decent level of storage capacity over here yeah it is actually pretty deep so you can store two three phones over here then you have a regular 12 volt charging socket alongside a usb charging port for connectivity and charging okay and you have the regular manual handbrake so no difference whatsoever you have the ev mode separately along with the drive mode button exclusively available only on the hybrid version the drive modes are power mode which shows red and you have the eco mode which means the display is in blue and you have the normal mode which means the display is in this turkish green color so you have three multiple drive modes for the regular driving and apart from that you also have the ev mode which means you can drive up to 50 km per hour speed in electric mode only or while coasting you can simply turn off the engine and put the car in ev mode just to extract that better mileage and go the extra distance okay then you have this standard nice comfy leatherette armrest which is also adjustable this armrest console is available as standard across all variants and there is a decent level of storage on the inside okay and you have a decent sized glove box also no cooling though it is all right still you have 1 liter bottle holders on every door the good thing regarding this interior is that it has a whole lot of features as standard along with some nice attention to detail as well you have nice soft good quality fabric padding armrests also on every door with good cushioning also so that is a good thing to see then coming on towards the right side of the steering wheel you have no buttons everything over here is actually dummy that's because only on the top level variants you have the head up display controls located on the right side but on this car it is everything is dummy so it's okay so it is all right uh, well what's next yeah coming on towards the top you have the uh, day night adjustable manual irbm available as standard and you have individual yellow cabin lamps for the front passengers and along with that you have the lid openable vanity mirror for the co driver sun visor so yeah pretty much a whole lot of features available as standard okay then let's now check out the rear seats 
taking a look at the rear seats of this S Hybrid Urban Cruiser High Rider, you can see that three individual adjustable headrests are available as standard across all variants, along with proper three point seat belts for every passenger with seat belt warnings. Now, the biggest highlight is that. Even on the lower spec, the base level high rider, you get this center armrest with two cup holders along with 60-40 split folding and recline adjustment also available as standard. So you have two step recline adjust. So that is really good in terms of convenience. Also you have isofix child seat mounts available as standard and you also have this rear AC vent console which is also available as standard along with two charging ports available for the rear seat passengers one is the regular usb and one c type usb charging port is also available alongside that you have also the st phone storage pocket over here and this is how the dashboard of this s hybrid urban cruiser high rider looks like it is actually pretty well loaded with all the necessary features you will need for your family and also providing you the option of the hybrid powertrain thus extracting better mileage and this is also the most affordable hybrid car in the Indian market. Yeah. So you get almost every feature you need along with the hybrid powertrain, along with the best fuel efficiency and uh, not compromising in terms of safety as well. Yeah. Regarding safety, this S hybrid variant has got the biggest highlight. Previously, uh, you may have seen our Neo Drive S variants walk around review, but that Neo Drive version only had dual airbags, ESP fuel load traction control and uh, the smart key access with push button start, reverse parking sensors and rear windshield defogger. But on the S hybrid version, this latest hybrid S variant, you have six airbags available. Yeah. So previously, this hybrid S variant also had only dual airbags, but now they have updated six airbags which is available across all hybrid variants of this Urban Cruiser High Rider. So that is actually the biggest update and it is going to be really great because if you even if you opt for the most affordable hybrid car in the Indian market, you are not compromising in terms of safety, thus also gaining six airbags, ESP, traction control, heel hold assist, along with reverse parking, camera and smart key access with push button start and all that stuff. So yeah, this is a no compromise, good value for money variant according to me. Then other small yet useful features on the Urban Cruiser High Rider are these height adjustable seat belts for the front passengers. Yes, this is going to be really useful. These features are actually standard across all variants. And you also have these individual yellow cabin lamps located on the sides for the rear seat passengers. This is also actually a better placement according to me. Then, yeah, just like the front doors, you also have the nice fabric padding on the rear door armrests. Yeah. It is comfortable, the position is good and you also have chrome finish door handles, silver finish on the door pads and all. You also have all four power windows and you also have one litre bottle holders on every door. That said, the legroom is really good. Yeah, you have ample amount of legroom, knee room and headroom as well. But only the under thigh support is just a bit all right. It is not great. Still, you can alter the rear seats in terms of cushioning while opting for seat covers or something. Yeah. Okay, uh, right, let's now check out the boot space. The non-hybrid versions of the Toyota Urban Cruiser High Rider actually get 373 litres of luggage capacity. But this is the hybrid version, which means the luggage space is actually a bit compromised because the battery for the hybrid system is actually located over here and this cannot be opened. But this platform over here can be removed and uh, uh, placed away for additional flexibility and if you remove this platform actually you can get up to 300 liters of luggage space so that is the maximum capacity for this hybrid version but still if you want even more luggage capacity the urban cruiser high rider is happy to provide you 60 40 split folding rear seats available as standard across all variants however that is actually a step down if you want to slide any luggage over here so yeah but still it works it is actually pretty spacious and good enough almost flat yeah, it is almost flat. The step is not that massive. Regarding the features in this boot area, you get a small bag hook on the left side. And on the right side, you have a boot lamp along with a 12 volt charging socket. These features are actually standard across all variants. So that is also a nice thing along with this parcel tray. So yes, apart from providing so much features inside the cabin, this S hybrid variant actually also provides these good features in the boot area as well. Regarding the spare wheel location, for the non-hybrid Neo Drive variants, the spare wheel is actually located over here under the floor itself over here. Whereas in this car, on the hybrid variants, you get the jack and other tools located under the floor. And the actual spare wheel is located under the body itself. This is also a 17-inch full-size steel wheel, which means you can use this spare wheel for full-time as well. 
Okay, then that was all about the boot space and flexibility. Let's now check out the pricing and value of this S Hybrid Urban Cruiser High Rider. So folks, that was a detailed walkthrough of the brand new updated Toyota Urban Cruiser High Riders S Hybrid variant. Despite being the most affordable hybrid car in the Indian market currently, this S Hybrid variant actually gets you quite a lot of equipment as standard along with a good number of convenience features including reverse camera, push button start, cruise control, automatic AC with rear AC vents. Moreover, you also get 6 airbags available as standard on all hybrid variants. Which means even if you opt for the most affordable hybrid car in India today, you will be able to get all the essential active and passive safety features along with good number of convenience features as well. Which simply makes this S Hybrid Toyota Urban Cruiser High Rider a great value for money choice also providing great efficiency. Do let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this S Hybrid variant of the Toyota High Rider. Meanwhile, this is Swip Rajesh signing off. See you on another video. Thank you for watching.